If you're looking to take your iPhone game to the next level in terms of video and content creation, then these are three accessories I recommend you guys pick up. Let's go on a little adventure. So the number one bit of equipment I'd recommend is some sort of tripod or stabilization equipment for your iPhone. You don't want to be holding it just with your hands because then it's going to be all shaky. But with a nice tripod, you can get shots like this, which are pretty stable and also look good. So the tripod I am using is a Ulanzi MT22. It's a flexible tripod like the Gorillapod, but I've used both the Gorillapod and the Ulanzi, and I prefer the Ulanzi MT22. If you want to check it out, the link's in the description down below, but it's got these awesome flexible legs. I actually got the iPhone up in the tree right now, so you can place it around poles, you can do panning shots, and it's great for stabilization shots. Let's go. Another great thing about this tripod is that it's got a built-in mobile phone holder. You just stretch it out to the size yeah, you like and fit your phone in. You can do landscape or portrait and it's awesome that it's built into this tripod. Gorillapod does not have that feature and this, for the price, is pretty amazing. The other bit of tech that we got to check out is the Comica VD10 Live. This is the microphone that I'm using, the wireless microphone system, and these are actually a game changer. You open up the box, it's kind of like a big AirPod box, and we've got the microphones inside and the receiver, which is plugged into my iPhone. This also plugs into DLSR cameras and mirrorless cameras, but I've got the Lightning connector one, which plugs straight into my iPhone 13. If you want to check out our full review on the Comica VD10 live microphones, these microphones I'm using right here, then click the link in the top corner and you can see our full review on these microphones. So when you combine the microphone and the tripod, you can get some pretty amazing vlogs going and footage. If you're doing a bit of a vlog and then include B-roll after, you can use the tripod to get that B-roll, go up and down. If you want to use the microphones to record your surrounding, or record your voice, you can do that. And it's very, very easy to use. I'd recommend you guys picking up both of these, either a microphone and a tripod to improve your iPhone quality video. This is from the front facing camera. If you wanna make it even better, use the reverse size. It's quite easy using the front camera, but the back one's a bit better. This video is sponsored by Super EQ and their amazing Q2 Pro NEC True Wireless Earbuds. They feature hybrid active noise cancellation for up to 32 decibels. I've been using them for the past couple of weeks and the noise cancellation is amazing compared to other earbuds on the market. The earbuds have a nice sleek black and gold design with an S in the middle, which I like to think stands for Sam, but actually it's Super EQ. In terms of sound, they have a nice balance, so they sound great no matter what genre of music you are listening to. They have an impressive 30 hours of playtime and IPX5 rating, so you can take them out and about when you're going for a jog. The Q2 Pro also features an easy one-step connection. You just open the case and it connects via Bluetooth and they support up to Bluetooth 5.2. The kind guys over at Super EQ have gave us a 20% off discount code. If you click the link in the description, use the discount code on screen now and you can get 20% off these earbuds. Check out the Super EQ for yourself and enjoy the rest of the video. So what have I got in my lunchbox today? Let's have a look. Anything amazing? No, I know because I packed it. Oh, I've got a destroyed sandwich <laughs> and I've got some biscuits, very good. I've also got an apple somewhere, but that's in my bag. Eat healthy kids. So I'm just having my sandwich. Mr. Pheasant has come back. Go Mr. Pheasant, go, go, go. So I'm gonna be trying to make some cinematic shots and some cool looking shots while I'm on my walk using the microphone and this tripod. Let's carry on with the adventure. It's 
it's very quick and easy to set up this vlogging setup and it allows you to capture moments like this even if you're just recording a video diary to look back at yourself and kind of what adventures you've been on now do i think a setup like this with a little tripod your iphone and a microphone can replace a dlsr camera well it depends how old your dlsr is so i've got a canon 250d which came out about four or five years ago now i believe and it only records in 1080p at 60 frames per second now that's good enough but with tvs and screens all going 4k nowadays you want to get high resolution now this setup ensures that you have a good audio quality you've got stable footage and you can see yourself on your iphone if you're using the front facing camera like i am i'd rather have a sony a7s 3 to record my footage to get them cinematic shots but for vlogging out and about and capturing moments this is the perfect setup for you if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. We've got some awesome tech coming your way, including a little mini e-bike and some more tech for your iPhone. So make sure you hit subscribe. And the third bit of tech I would recommend is this Sierra MagSafe power bank. You magnetically connect it to the back of your iPhone thanks to MagSafe and it will charge your iPhone up. It's a 5000 milliamp battery and it's USB Type-C to charge up. It's really slim, light and portable. It's got a nice rubberized grip to it, so you can easily attach it to the back of your phone when you're running low on battery, especially if you're recording 4K, 30 or 60 frames per second, it will drain your battery very quick. So pick up one of these and then you can record for longer. This is what it looks like when you're not using a tripod and you're just using the microphone on the phone. It's not that great. The audio shouldn't sound as good. And yeah, it's worth investing in a good tripod or little gimbal and a nice microphone. So guys, what was your favorite bit of tech from this video? Personally, I do like the tripod because it makes it easy, but the microphone changed the game. If you use the original iPhone microphone, it's not that great compared to some wireless microphones like this. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to us, Tech Fusions. We've got some awesome content coming your way. This has been Sam, and I'll catch you in the next Tech Fusions video. Peace.